Hey guys, welcome to channel Dev Kage. So while looking at some of the most popular Flutter packages on pub.dev, I came across a package called Simmer and found it really handy. So in this video, I'm going to show a demo of how to use this package. If you check out their web page, you'll quickly understand what this package does. Link for this package will be in the description. Basically, you can wrap your widgets in a Simmer widget to have this animated gradient color. So as usual, I'll have to copy the dependency from installing tab of this widget. To make the demo more realistic, I'll use Firebase and Fetch data from Cloud Firestore. And for that, I'll need the Cloud Firestore package. If you don't know how to use this package and fetch data from Firestore, you can check out my video on Stream Builder and Cloud Firestore where I cover this in detail. To save some time, I've already added both these packages in dependencies section in pubspec YAML. So let's jump into the code. First, I'll remove this center widget and add a stream builder. For the stream property, I'll set firestore.instance.collection. I have created a collection called songs in Cloud Firestore, so I'll type in songs here. Here, we want to listen to snapshots of this collection, so I'll call snapshot from this. If you feel that I'm going too fast, please check out the other video first. Now let's implement the builder. This builder needs two arguments, first is context and second is snapshot. In the builder, I'll first make sure that snapshots is valid by checking if it has data. And if it has data, let's make sure that documents list is not empty. If this condition is false, then we'll return the shimmer widget in else part. So let's quickly write the code to return valid data in this if block. Here, I'll return a list view widget using the builder constructor. Item count will be snapshots.data.document.length. Item builder needs a function which takes context and an index. From this function, I'll return a list style. I've added a field called album cover to each document which contains URL to an image. I'll show that image in leading widget of list style. For this, I'll use image.network constructor. So I'll write snapshot.data.documents.element at index and this will get us the current document and then I'll get album cover using square brackets. For the title property, I'll display a text widget containing value stored in a field called title. That's all for this builder. Now let's add code to the else part. Here I'll return a shimmer widget using from color constructor. This constructor has three required properties child, base color, and highlight color. For the child, I'll provide a list view builder. This will be a dummy list that we will show until the actual data is fetched from Firestore. I'll set the item count for this list as 10. Item builder will be a function which takes context and index and returns a list style. For leading property, I'll add an image icon widget with size set to 50. For the title property, I'll create a size box widget and as child of this widget, I'll return a container. But this container will not contain anything. I'll just set its color to green. It does not matter which color you pick. Next, I'll set the height property of this size box as 20. Now let's set the remaining properties of shimmer widget. For base color, I'll use gray and for highlight color, I'll use teal color. And now, if I save this code, you'll see that we have a dummy list with 10 elements. Plus, it has that animated gradient color effect which will let users know that data is still loading. You can change the color property to get a custom look. Like if I change it to blue, it will look more dramatic. I'll change it back to teal. There are some additional properties using which you can control the direction and speed of animation. You might be wondering why the list view from if condition is not being displayed. This is because Wi-Fi is right now switched off. If I switch it on, this app will connect to the Firebase and fetch the required data. As you can see, now we get the actual list. Let's wrap these list tiles in padding widget to separate them from each other. Let's see what happens if Wi-Fi is on while the app is still loading. For this, I'll stop debugging and relaunch the app. And as you saw, the shimmer list view appears for a few seconds before loading the actual list. So that was it for this video, I hope you learned something new from it. If you like the video, do hit that like button and consider subscribing for more such videos.